everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to talk about something very important to me and we're gonna discuss why I created Kayali, our fragrance brand. And this is something that I've been dreaming about, working on for literally, feels like a lifetime, but I first started working on the idea of creating a fragrance brand all the way in 2010, so it's been a decade in the making. Um, but I really wanna share with you guys why I'm so passionate about fragrance and what it really means to me. So I first fell in love with fragrances the very first time I picked up a perfume bottle. I was so impressed with the way it could just instantly transform how I felt. And I was very in love with the emotional transformation. I remember smelling my mom's perfume and just thinking, oh my God, what is this magic in this bottle? It's like, as soon as I smelt it, I instantly felt like I was just uplifted and my mood completely changed and I was like that's just so incredible and the power of scent and what it does to our mind our brain our senses is really just something that I find really magical so I fell in love with that and I remember just being so obsessed with fragrances and everywhere I'd go I'd look for fragrances I remember always trying to see if my mom would get new fragrances and um, she didn't really get many <laughs> but I would always be looking for some and then I remember just when I first got my first job, I was 14 years old, and my first paycheck, I bought two bottles of perfume. I only have one that I found. Um, the other one is a bit fishy, but this is the Curve from Liz Claiborne. I don't know if you guys remember this, but this is something that I wore for years throughout high school, and I just remembered falling in love again with fragrance, and every time I smelled a new one, I'd fall more in love with it, and I still feel the same way today. Like, every time I try a new fragrance that I, I love, I just get more addicted to the power of fragrance and the power of transporting how you feel and, and transporting yourself back in time. Like, when I smell this bottle, like, literally, I'm back in high school, I'm in Dartmouth, Massachusetts, and I'm about to go work out because I was a gym head, but it just really is magical. I instantly like feel that emotion. I feel exactly like where I was. And I bought this bottle probably six months ago. It was when we were in lockdown and I wanted to remember that feeling. And I actually got emotional when I smelled it. I was like, wow, this is just so weird how I'm, I'm back in time. It's like a time machine, like fragrances are a time machine. They're just so powerful. So some of you guys know I grew up in the States, but I actually moved to Dubai when I was 17. Um, cause I have Arabian roots, but I never actually like lived my entire life in the Middle East. So when I moved here, my love for fragrances just exploded on another level. Dubai is really an incredible fragrance world. It's like, they have the best fragrance shops. They have interesting brands. They have so many regional brands that you can't even find anywhere else. And there's amazing street shops where they sell perfumes and just everywhere you go, everything is so rich and deep there's so much fragrance everywhere so when i moved here my fragrance love just became super magnified i remember always thinking how much i loved fragrances and um, it wasn't until i actually worked with a brand and did their pr that i fell in love with fragrances and i, I worked on this brand called mccallif i'm going to show you it um this brand right here it's such a beautiful brand it's super super niche high quality beautiful and i fell in love with the founders they are so like involved in every process Everything is hand done. I mean, that's why they do have some mistakes. You see there's a little bit of glue here, but the crystals are put on by hand and the wife actually painted on my bottle for me. I love them. I really, really connected with them, but I remember just loving the beautiful quality of ingredients and seeing the richness and the amount of detail they put into their beautiful bottle and juices. Like everything was so made with so much passion and love. So that's where I was like, one day I wish, I wish, I hope one day I can create my own brand. And this is back in, I think it was 2010. I'm not sure. There's definitely pictures on the internet from events that I did with them, but it was a long time ago. And I just, I really decided then that one day it's, it's something that I want to do. And I remember, I remember speaking to labs at the time and I actually have some fragrance samples all the way from 2010 from when I first started working on like the idea of what if one day I can create my own brand. So now I wanna share more with you guys about why I created Kaylee. Of course, I love fragrances and I love everything that they make me feel. I love how they make people, how they make other people feel. Like I feel like fragrance is really a tool to create confidence. You know, I, I know people talk about a power lipstick, they talk about a power suit, but like people don't speak enough about a power fragrance and fragrances can make you feel so powerful. I know for me, when I put on an amazing fragrance, like my confidence instantly boosts and people around you actually feel impacted too. Like when you smell good, when there's like good scents in the air, like everybody 
can just feel so like excited. So that's something that I really love. Um, when it came to creating Kaeli, it was really important to me that I kept a big part of my Arabian roots in the brand. So coming down to every single detail, there's a lot of ties to my heritage. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys the bottle. I'm sure, I hope you guys have seen it before, but if you haven't, this is a bottle, one of our bottles. Um, this is our Deja Vu White Flower 57 and the 100 ml. Um, and as you guys can see, the bottle looks like a diamond. And I was very inspired by the bottles that are here in the Middle East. So if you go to a lot of the perfume shops, there's a lot of variety. So you can have, you can find really fancy ones. You can find kind of like cheapish ones, but they all look like diamonds and jewels. Um, so here's like a nicer quality version of like the oud bottles that you'd find in the street shops. Um, but these are like everywhere. It's like it looks like it's so extravagant and like so rare, but these are literally like all over. <laughs> and like every shop and I loved them and I always I remembered when I moved to Dubai I saw them and I was like I'd see them in people's houses and I just felt like it made me feel like royalty I felt like a princess I felt like so special and I was like these perfumes are so beautiful um, so when we created the bottle it was really important to me to make sure that the, our fragrances also made you feel special made you feel luxurious made you feel like the royal person that you are you know like every single one of you are special and deserve to be pampered and deserve to have some like really amazing good quality perfume because everyone should be everyone should have it that was the inspiration with the diamond shape the diamond cap again it should be like your jewel your precious 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 um magical bottle that you keep around you even the packaging everything's shaped like a diamond this is our outer packaging um again a diamond shape this is our mini set. <laughs> so this is like the four 10 ml minis. If you wanna try collection number one, you can get the whole mini set shaped like a diamond, but everything is just like very like special um, and lots of detail went into it. The name Kaeli actually means my imagination in Arabic. So that was something really important to me as well. I want people to use their own imagination to create their own fragrances. And I know you're probably thinking, what do I mean by that? Because you're buying the brand, but what I, what we really want people to do is mix their own fragrances to create their own unique identity. So the whole concept behind Kaeli is all about layering. So we want people to mix and match different fragrances, whether it's Kaeli or even their own or their other brands with Kaeli, but like mix your fragrances together to create something very unique to yourself. And this is something that Middle Eastern people have been doing for centuries. Like this is some, it's a ritual that if you go to a normal typical Arab house, like if you go if you go to like their powder room, there's gonna be so many different fragrances for you to just kind of create your own concoction. And I remember like one of the beautiful things here is uh, if you go to like a traditional home, like after you eat, they'd bring you like a tray of perfumes and they'd, you'd, they'd give it to you to kind of like fragrance yourself and mix and match different fragrances together to create something special. But it all had a tie to their own home. So like if you went to another person's house after leaving that person's house, like people would be like, oh, were you at so-and-so's house? Because you smell like them. So it was so amazing how like an identity was tied to a fragrance and I thought that was really special. So I wanted to kind of build that and share our rituals with everyone and make it something more global because I love, I love the fragrance rituals that we have in our culture. I think it's really special and I think it makes people feel special when they do it. It's, to me, it's another form of self-love. Like when I take my time, put on my perfume and go through that whole process, um, even when I don't go out, I feel amazing. But when I do go out and I see other people and I get complimented, left, right, and center on how I smell, it makes me feel like a queen. I'm just like, yes, thank you. And it, it's just, it's such a great, amazing compliment. And I, and I love even more so when it's like my own concoction. Like I've mixed together different scents to make something special for myself. Like, I don't know why I have this obsession with not smelling like anyone else. <laughs> like I love being like, oh, it's my own mix. You know, get a pen and paper. Let me like share with you my big long list. And I try not to give everything because I want to smell special. So that's a big pillar of Kaylee. It's just like teaching people how to layer, experiment with layering, encouraging people to step outside their comfort zone when it comes to fragrance and really embrace like your own creativity. You don't have to be an expert. You can just start mixing things together, have fun with it. It's supposed to be fun, um, but you'll be so surprised with how amazing things smell when you just mix and match different things together. So in order for all of you guys to become kind of 
fragrance experts, connoisseurs. We really want to help educate everyone and that's another pillar of Kaeli is really educating everyone on what they actually like. I remember when I was first like becoming a fragrance expert, people would always ask me like, what do you like? What do you like? And I'd be like, oh my God, I don't know what I like because I would have to go to like resources like fragrantica.com or like on the website, I would try to find like the brand and see if they listed any information about the ingredients that were inside. And a lot of brands wouldn't share everything. They'd share like very few ingredients and it would really frustrate me. How am I supposed to know what I like if I don't know what's inside the bottle? So for us, it's been a very important part of our brand to share with you guys as much as we possibly can. So on our packaging, we actually list five of the key ingredients. Um, we're possibly going to start adding more. I've been pushing to add more, but you know, it does look a bit crowded and messy, but on the website and on all websites, we provide all the ingredients that are shared with us. So everything our noses are sharing with us, we share with you, um, because we want to have that transparency and we want to educate everybody on like what you actually love. So that's another big part. So if you see on the back of, this is the, the back of, um, a hundred ml bottle. It's here. Here's the back of our hair mist bottle. And um, over here inside our mini set kit, if you look, if you open it up on here, it's kind of like a little menu item, menu list where you have like all these scents and then the ingredients. So this is something that I really hope you guys um, pay attention to and learn from us. I want you to try to get to know what you like and I'm just trying to help you guys understand more about fragrances. So now I'd like to jump into collection number one, which we launched back in November 2018. Um, and we launched a collection of four fragrances and we developed them with some of the best noses ever and the incredible fragrance house, Fear Manish, which is one of the top in the entire world. They are privately owned, which I really love because they're still able to prioritize quality over profits, which is something very important to us. They're very ethical partners. They work on sustainably sourcing ingredients and they really give back to all the communities on, on where they're getting these ingredients from, which was super, super important to me and the team. So they're amazing to work with and I'll, I'll share with you guys every single juice that we created with them. And by the way, the juice, when I'm talking about fragrance, for any of you guys who aren't fragrance junkies like me, that means the, the liquid inside, that's the fragrance juice. <laughs> so for collection number one, we launched four different fragrances, and I'm gonna start with the Elixir first. <laughs> Let me grab it. So this is our Elixir 11, um, and the whole concept around collection number one was using the elixir as your base and then you could change it up with all of the other fragrances we launched the vanilla the citrus the musk to kind of create a different mood um elixir itself is a very floral fruity fragrance um we have rose de mai absolute which is one of the most incredible rose ingredients in the entire world i actually went to grass um, myself personally and i picked the roses not the ones that are in this bottle but i picked the exact same roses and saw the process of how they extract the the oil from the flower um it is the most expensive rose available and there's only two rose fields in the world that have this rose it's rose de mai which is rose of may and it grows um i believe it's only two weeks in the entire year so it's very rare very special a lot of fragrances use um, this rose in their fragrances because it really smells so soft and special and unique it's it's really incredible we also have a red apple on the top so as soon as you smell it you're going to smell a beautiful crisp red apple we have jasmine sambac absolute which is from india naturally sourced as well very high quality very calming beautiful we actually put jasmine in almost all of our fragrances i love jasmine we also have patchouli ambrox which is a form of amber vanilla praline and musk so there's a lot of woody heavy notes in this fragrance it's very um bottom heavy, which means there's a lot of base notes. So it's very long lasting, very powerful. This is probably, from what we've heard, the most unisex fragrance. Like a lot of guys also use this fragrance. Like this is what I would wear on like a hot date where I want him to be like, ooh, she fire. You know, so I love, love, love this juice. It's, it's definitely something special. So we created this juice with Pierre Negrin, who is an incredible nose, who's done a lot of amazing juices, uh, Black Orchid from Tom Ford, and many, many more, like the list goes on. He's 
amazing and he was wonderful to work with and this was something very special like i remember like when he created it with us we were like when we'd spray it in in la we were me and huda were in LA, in la at the time every it was like the biggest head turner like this one all the men were like where'd you get that i want to get it for my wife and we're like sorry let you know in a few years um but this was something that was a head turner right. i still remember like every time i smell it i remember like where i wore it the most and it was in beverly hills when we were working on like going back and forth with the nose to like get the fragrance right and i remember like me and Huda being at um this hotel uh which one the four seasons in beverly hills downstairs like where they have a little cafe where everybody kind of like drives by and like people are walking around it's like a very sceny place and i remember just everyone stopping us and being like where what is this fragrance and it was just such a good feeling to be like oh you're gonna have to wait but yeah so so happy to see people like gravitating towards it but this is a this is a men killer right here and lady killer i mean i know a lot of guys will wear it too but men love this juice so the next juice I'd like to share with you guys is our Musk 12. And I forgot to mention the last time that the number actually represents the number of times we went back and forth with our nose to finalize the juice. Um, this is the 12th mod, so this is the one we selected. Sometimes we can go even higher than that, but this just means that this was the one that was actually picked. So Musk 12 is a very floral musk. It's very light and bright. For me, it's amazing. It's something that I would wanna wear after the shower. It makes me think of like clean, sexy, like very irresistible skin. Like I just would, I would wanna wear this out of the shower. That's when I do wear it. I wear it all the time, but like that's the time where I'm like spraying it all over. I just feel like for me, when I smell the musk, this on my brush skin, on bed sheets, it's like super sexy. So, our musk was actually created by Harry Fremont, who I know to most of you guys are gonna be like, who is that? In the fragrance world, he is a huge deal. Like, a huge deal. He's a master perfumer. And this, he's like a huge, huge, when I say huge deal, he's like mega, like, oh my gosh, he's like a idol, you know, for me. Um, and this was one of the last perfumes he worked on before he retired, so it's super special. I remember like thinking, okay, if we want to do like a part two of this juice, I'm like, who are we going to work on it with? Because he's retired, it broke my heart, but he's like mega, mega, mega. He's a fragrance genius. Okay, but anyway, so we worked on this perfume together. Okay, so there's a lot of different types of musks in this juice. Um, we actually have more than four or five listed. Um, and we also have Fresha, Lotus Flower, Jasmine, Vanilla, and Creamy Sandalwood. So the next fragrance I wanna share with you guys um, from collection one is Vanilla 28. This is such a delicious, amazing vanilla. And vanilla for me was, is always so important. To be honest, we have vanilla in every single fragrance except citrus, but we have Tonka, which it kind of smells like vanilla. So we always have like a vanilla note, vanilla-ish note in every scent. And um, this one is a vanilla overload. So if you like vanilla, if you like smelling sweet, there's also a lot of brown sugar in here. It is so, so, so like just divine. Um, I think this is it's between this one and Deja Vu, but this is definitely one of the most coveted fragrances of the brand. People who buy it just keep rebuying it. Like they are obsessed with it. Um, I've never gotten so many compliments on a fragrance besides our vanilla. Um, so I'm blown away with the response we get with vanilla and also this is also a man like men love vanilla like all the guys are like my girlfriend wears vanilla I'm obsessed with her she smells so good I can't get enough of her I'm so happy you created it so this is a really delicious edible like tasting fragrance smelling fragrance I'm saying tasting because I want to taste it it really smells so divine like for me vanilla is one of my favorite toppers um, and that's why we really recommend this vanilla being a topper. You can use it as your individual fragrance on its own, but as a topper, it literally, like all my favorite perfumes, when I put this vanilla on top, it just makes it smell so divine. I think of it as like the whipped cream to your dessert. Like vanilla should be on top of everything. It just makes it sweeter, tastier, more long lasting. Um, it also has a lot of base notes as well. So the, the long lastingness is super strong here. So we have three different types of vanilla in here. We have patchouli, we have 
an overload of brown sugar, like that's probably gonna be one of the first things you smell when you smell this juice, you're gonna be like, wow, it's so sweet. But musk, so we have amber um, and jasmine, so it's just really, really, really delicious and um, very addictive. The vanillas we have are naturally sourced, so the color will evolve over time. A lot of people get confused. They'll send us pictures, they'll be like, wow, my vanilla turned black. It's actually completely normal. The colors with gourmand, which means like sweet fragrances, do evolve over time, so don't be surprised, don't be worried. It's still gonna smell the same, it's just the color will change, especially depending on how much sunlight is gonna be on the, the bottle, how much heat it's exposed to. Um, I highly recommend putting your perfumes in a cool, dark place if possible. If you can, put it in a cooler refrigerator, even better. But otherwise, just a, a dark, cool place would be fantastic. So this fragrance was created by the amazing nose, Gabriella Chereau. It's actually one of my favorite noses to work with. I love her so much. I love you, Gabby. Mwah. Who also made our citrus deja vu and some other babies that are coming. But I love working with her. She's phenomenal and she's a woman, which I love. Um, Cause there aren't that many, there aren't as many women in the nose industry and fragrance. So I love working with her. Um, she's phenomenal. So the next juice we're gonna talk about is the Citrus 08. Oh my God, this baby is so delicious. This is like a sparkling rose. And by the way, when you mix citrus and vanilla together, you smell like a lemon cake and it's just like, oh. So good. Citrus is actually my favorite fragrance to wear in the morning. I usually do citrus and musk in the morning or citrus and deja vu, but it's just super energizing. Um, we also have rose de mai in here, so that beautiful rose ingredient that we talked about in Elixir. Um, so this is, it's, people get confused when they smell it because they're like, this is more of like a rosy fragrance. It's a sparkling rose, um, but there is a lot of bergamot, there's pink pepper, um, we have uh, rhubarb as well, so there's a lot of citrusy notes. It's a special juice, like for me, this is something that's very non-typical. Like, it's very different to every citrus I've ever tried. There's depth to it, and I think it's from the oak, mock, oak moss and the tonka. It's really, really, really special. And um, the more I wear it, the more I love it. And again, it just, it, it goes so well with so many of our juices. I especially love this with our vanilla and also our elixir, but it's just divine. So the next juice that I wanna talk about and our latest launch is our incredible Deja Vu White Flower 57. And this is the first juice that I actually worked on on my own um, because I worked on collection one with Huda. So it was kind of like my first baby on my own. So it was, it was really like a special experience. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but because I was able to like really choose what I wanted in this juice, I felt super excited about it, super proud. And um, for me, I'm obsessed with White Flower like on a whole nother level. Like I love Jasmine, I love Gardenia, I love Tuberose. Um, and I wanted to create something really special because I have in my perfume library, which is like around here behind the camera, um, thousands of fragrances, probably 3000 fragrances. And out of them, I probably have hundreds of white flower, white flower fragrances. So to create something really special took a very long time. And that's why we worked on 57 mods with our nose, um, Gabby to create something really great. And we wanted it to be something that could be for everyone. So white flower is really versatile. It's something that I could see like a young teenage girl wearing or boy, like either wearing or like my mom wearing, my dad wears it, I wear it. Like it's super versatile. I feel like it's for any age, any time of the day, any time of the year, any occasion. It's really that timeless, beautiful juice that speaks to so many different people. So that's one reason why I love it so much. We made it super youthful by adding a lot of juicy top notes. So we have the green pear, the white nectarine, um, and then we have the middle notes, which are all the gorgeous white flowers, gardenia tuberose, um, orange flower, and jasmine. And we have amazing base notes of Tahitian vanilla, which is a really creamy, beautiful vanilla that reminds me of holiday. It's just like very coconutty and creamy. Amber, sandalwood, patchouli, and cashmere woods, as well as the Tahitian vanilla on the base. Um, so it's very, very long lasting as well because those are very strong base notes. So for me, Deja Vu um, is the fragrance where I feel like has such an incredible harmony. Um, we have 25% oil concentration, which is really high. Um, in the fragrance world, it's actually more considered a perfume to 
X straight um, and most edit performers have between 15 to 18 percent so we went really high here because we want to make sure we're giving you the best of the best very high concentration very long lasting um, and it's really so special I love this one so much I love them all I love them all so much I hope they didn't hear me but I love you all <laughs> like literally I wore this for three years like this took three years this was actually something I was working on from day one um, and at the time it wasn't one of Huda's favorites, so we weren't able to agree on it, so I ended up launching it later, but this was something I worked on from the very beginning of Kaeli, and one of my favorite juices. I'm actually happy it took a long time to create because we kept evolving the juice to make it more special, so I feel like we got it to a very amazing place, and right now it's something that I'm so proud of. I love it so much. And that's why we decided to launch an incredible hair mist in Deja Vu. I love this hair mist. Ooh. I personally love hair mist in general, like I actually use so many different types of hair mist, not only our own. I don't wash my hair all the time, so for me it was something really important to create because I want people to smell good all the time and your hair actually holds on to scents even better than your skin does. I always spray my hair and my clothing because on your skin, fragrance doesn't last as long, it evolves very quickly, it also changes depending on your hormones, depending on the weather, on so many factors, so it's a little bit um, more unreliable compared to clothing and hair so that's why creating hair mist was so important and we also made our hair mist very special with adding nourishing ingredients we have a lot of amazing ingredients I'm sure you guys have seen my video if you haven't check it out but we, we wanted to make sure we went a step further to not only make you smell good but also make your hair healthier and shinier over time so check this out 100% alcohol free as well so it's not gonna dry your hair out so our rollerball was really intended on um, making layering really easy, accessible, affordable, and just amazing for you to experiment with two different fragrances. Like some people don't wanna try two fragrances off the bat, so this is gonna make it really easy for you guys. I hope you guys love it. And we recently launched it just a couple of weeks ago, and so far everybody's been really excited about it, which makes me so happy. I just wanna make you guys fall even more in love with fragrances. Um, if you haven't fallen in love with fragrances yet, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you hooked. Once you start layering, you're gonna really find how magical it is. It makes your fragrances last longer, it makes them more complex, it makes them just unique to yourself, which is so amazing. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm so passionate about fragrances, like I've wanted to create my fragrance ever since I decided I wanted to venture into entrepreneurship. This was the one thing that I was like, I wanna do this one day. It was like creative fragrance. It's really something that's been a big dream for me and I'm so, Sometimes I just can't believe it's even happening. I can't believe like we launched a brand. It makes me so excited. Um, but I just wanted to share it with you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys can learn from me about fragrances, about following your dreams. As always, I wanna end this video with a quote and it is by our amazing Elizabeth Taylor. The beauty of fragrance is that it speaks to your heart and hopefully someone else's. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> And that's the truth. The fragrances are for you first and then second other people and usually you're gonna find that not only are you gonna enjoy it but other people are gonna be like oh it smells so good you're gonna excite other people to start smelling good themselves too which is great. Alright guys I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like this video and comment below what you guys want to see next and any feedback you guys have on Kayali or your favorite fragrance let me know what you guys love I'd love to see it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel I love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye!